what happens to the green boy pellet extruder that lets you feed your print directly with the raw material filament is made out of and to save a lot of money by that but also to recycle your failed 3d prints or plastic waste by shredding them and directly 3d printing with them well it's available now actually already since sunday and more than 350 people already decided to support my project and got a 25 percent discount for my pellet extruder which you can also get but only until the 11th of August. So order now before it's too late, link in the description. But this video is about the future of Green Boy 3D because just having a decent pellet extruder is in my opinion not enough to accommodate my goal of making pellet 3D printing more accessible. There are still too many questions around pellet 3D printing with literally no answers at all. I mean, do you know the difference between round pellets or cylindrical pellets or what differences there are in the slices settings between filament and pellet extruders or where to buy pellets for a good price. You see, there are many questions like these which I get an answer every day because people have no sort of platform where they can learn all these things. But to understand how I want to solve this for you, you need to understand first the future plan I have for Greenboy 3D. So what is the future plan here? So, as you probably noticed through my website, the research and development for the pellet extruder was entirely funded by myself through a very stressful conveyor belt job at UPS where I worked from 4 to 8 a.m. in the morning. But to fund the mass production costs of my extruder, I had to start the pre-order phase where people can become early supporters and in exchange get a 25% discount for the extruder and this ends on the 11th of August so very soon. What's interesting however are the next things that are going to happen after this. Obviously the extruder goes into production and thanks to almost 350 supporters by now some parts of the pellet extruder went already into production. But this is just one part of what needs to be done because like I mentioned just offering a good pellet extruder is simply not enough to accommodate my goal of making pellet 3D printing globally less expensive and more accessible. People have still too many questions without answers, such as where can I buy pellets for a good price, how can I recycle my plastic waste into reusable pellets, how to use a pellet extruder or install it on my 3D printer, and many more like these. What's needed is a knowledge-based platform with guides, examples and videos that teach everything about pellet 3D printing and acts as a foundation for further self-development and the growth of the pellet 3D printing community. This takes however a lot of effort to create but is one of the things that I will dedicate myself to in the next couple of months. Another very important aspect are 3D printable adapters. As I mentioned in my last videos and also the FAQ section on my website, I already made a couple of different 3D printable adapters, in fact 16 for a variety of 3D printers. But the problem is there are not enough, there need to be at least 40 different adapters that cover most of the 3D printers from brands like Alagu, Creality, Sovo, Prusar and some specific 3D printers. In addition to that, there needs to be a video that explains you how you can make an adapter yourself, for example in case you have a custom built 3D printer. So there's a lot of work to do, especially when you consider that the estimated shipping date is between September and October for the pellet extruders. But once this phase is over, things are going to be more relaxed and I can spend more time on the thing that I like to do the most, which is conducting research and development to drive the cost of pellet 3D printing more downwards. Please keep in mind that everything I have created so far was done with very, very limited resources, no access to workshops, just with my time and a lot of dedication. If you want to support my efforts, then you can do it now by getting yourself a pellet extruder through the link down in the description. And should you have any questions or concerns, contact me anytime through my email, which is also in the description below.